I'm actually disappointed with 2 0, to be honest. Uh, I'm very happy we got three points. We needed it. Like, first and foremost, three points at the end of the day is all that matters. But 2 0 doesn't reflect that game. Yes, it's only Burnley, but it was only Brighton, and we lost 2 1 against them. We've managed to win 2 0, but it really, really should have been five at least. That isn't me being deluded or anything. We just had so many ridiculous chances. I'm talking one on ones, missed penalties, etc. Like, yeah, it, it should have been more, but it wasn't at the end of the day. Uh, standout performance for me, Lukaku, yes, he should have had a hat-trick. Of course, he should have, but he did score two goals and Hart made two good saves for it. Pogba should have given him the penalty, but didn't. And then he was dragged back when he got past Hart for his uh, hat-trick attempt. That that should have been a penalty, uh, in my opinion. Like, he's getting clattered into, he's getting dragged back, and he's literally got an open net. Um, so yeah, he played well, but of course, probably should have got a hat trick. Uh, Pogba played well as well, apart from the missed penalty. But the other three standouts again: Luke Shaw continuing his fantastic vein of form. Let's hope it continues. Being called up for England, um, very happy for him. Uh, and then Fellaini, he was phenomenal as well. Never put a foot foot wrong. I was a bit confused, not confused about Fellaini, but confused why Fred was dropped. Unfortunately, one of the midfielders had to be sacrificed, and it was Fred because he was the second best player against Spurs for us behind Shaw. Uh, but yeah, Fellini came in because of his uh, aerial dominance, and to be fair, it worked a treat. Like Every half chance that Burnley had, or like a half cross, um, a, a punted ball upfield, Fellini would drop back in between Lindelof and Smalling and head it. He literally never, he didn't put a foot wrong, don't really think he misplaced a pass or anything. Phenomenal performance from Fellini. For these type of games, that is why it was important to keep him. That's why I wanted to keep him. Apart from when he pissed around with his contract, that's when I wanted him to go, just because I thought it was a bit disrespectful to the club. But I did see his qualities um, and originally, obviously, wanted him to sign the contract, and he did, after a lot of, well, stupidity, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, so he's a good option for these type of games. Don't want him to start every single game, though. Uh, I'd prefer Fred, you know, someone who's a bit more uh, creative, for uh, other games, but these games where there's a lot of aerial battles, Fellaini's perfect for it. And uh, the other player is Alexis, who was brilliant for 60 minutes, kind of unsure why he was subbed off, to be honest. He was very, very influential in this game, got a superb assist for Lukaku's first goal, and uh, created a lot of good chances. One of his better games, hopefully, you know, since he's not going uh, to the international break with Chile, it'll be a lot better for him. Um, you know, he can knuckle down and really start to get the ball rolling for Manchester United because he just hasn't yet, but this is a good start to build on. Um, but yeah, he got subbed off for Rashford and Rashford looked really good when he came on, you know, for 11 minutes. And then I think it was Phil Bardsley, um, you know, obviously it's that incident. Uh, Bardsley kicks out, the referee didn't even see that, and then Rashford reacts. It's it's stupid. It is a red uh, for Rashford. I think Bardsley should have got a red as well. John Moss gave him a yellow for his actions after. Uh, I don't know if it was like provocative language or something. It, it was something to do with that wasn't the foul. So for the yellow and that, the yellow on the foul at least could even be a red because of the kick out. Probably should have had a red. There were two other inst instances where Burnley could and probably should have had a red uh, the second being when Lukaku rounded Joe Hart and then was brought down as I say yeah that that should be uh, a penalty and a red card and then the other one is for a deliberate handball where Lukaku is again through one-on-one -on -one with Joe Hart yes it's a bit to the left of the box um, but not even a free kick was given which means the referee didn't even see the handball and contrary to popular opinion I thought John Moss had a good first 60 minutes the referee um, but after that just accumulated and made decision after decision that was incorrect unfortunately um, but yeah aside from that uh, a lot of negatives there but yeah as I say the first goal brilliant cross from Alexis uh, nice little header from Lukaku uh, the second goal uh, is a little bit of a scramble yeah I was trying to remember like the start of it I think Pogba plays it in to uh, Lukaku Lukaku feeds it to Lingard it's a deflected shot and Lukaku's just got that striker's in instinct he's in the right place and just buries it in and then as I say the next big chance I think was a penalty where uh, why isn't Lukaku taking it I know Pogba scored his last two but 
Nah, you've got to give it to Lukaku when he's on a hat-trick. Like, if, if I was a striker in that situation, I'd be demanding the ball. Like, I'd want the hat-trick. I know uh, Alan Shearer, uh, I know obviously he's got nothing to do with Manchester United, but he, <laughs> he'd he be livid. There's no way he would let anyone else take that. The striker takes the penalty, especially when you're on a brace. Uh, and I reckon Lukaku would have finished that, and that would have been his hat-trick. And he might have even scored the other chances after that. Uh, as I say, Lukaku had two, well, three big chances as well. One of them was when he round, uh, rounded Joe Hart and was brought down. Another was a, a really good darting run. Um, I'm not sure who played the ball. I think it was Smalling, actually, from the back from a free kick. Uh, and then, yeah, it's it's a good save from Joe Hart. And there was another one in the first half where it was a a, a chip. I think it was, again, one-on-one. -on -one, but uh, it's another good save from uh, Joe Hart. He, he played well. Uh, heart for Burnley. He was about their only good performer, really. They sat off. You can tell they've got European f uh, fatigue, so we can't really look too much into it, but it's good because it comes off the back of another good performance, but a bad result. Of course, 3-0 against Spurs, you don't want that. A good 60 minutes. We were better for the 90 minutes this game, though, and we actually scored. So, if we keep playing like this, the results will come, and hopefully by bigger margins, because we did deserve a huge margin in this game, but... For whatever reason, it didn't happen, and when Rashford was sent off, it didn't really change. Like I thought that would be it. I thought the stars were aligning. You know, no matter what Mourinho does, he's going to get sacked. Uh, I'm a firm Jose in person, as you know. But you know, it, when Rashford was sent off, I was expecting Burnley to score and then get the momentum, and then two-two. And no matter what Jose did, it would ultimately end in a uh, travesty. But it didn't, thankfully. And uh, even with the red card, we we still played like we did when Burnley uh, didn't have the man extra but yeah it's only Burnley of course after the international break Rashford's got a three match ban but uh, hopefully there's no international injuries and we can just play a settled lineup. I'd bring Fred in for Fellaini for the next game I don't think we really need him although he was superb as I say fantastic option to have in games like this but Fred needs to play we need that Matic, Fred, Pogba midfield um, and then, yeah, probably the same forward three. Lingard, Alexis, and uh, Lukaku. I'd bring Bailly back in, though, uh, for Smalling, probably, or Lindelof. E either or. Bailly's our best centre-back. He has to play. So, hopefully, his uh, exile stops in the next game. And, yeah, I've talked about this game far too much for it being a 2-0 against Burnley. But, anyway, three points in the bag. And uh, let's go straight back after the international break and pick up three more. Oh, and the lighting, hey, hey, it's actually decent for a change. Moved into my next, uh, my new place, obviously. Managed to get a lamp there, so there's nice backlight into my front. What's well, backlight, I think, is what it's called. I, I studied media and I don't even know. Anyway, I'm rambling, but yeah. Hey, I actually have decent lighting. 